Welcome. What we're going to be looking at here initially is my open box operating system for Linux. And then we're going to be looking at the Gini text editor, which is a great programming tool for Python and C and other various languages. Because I'm going to be using Gini to program wiring Pi, I need to show those who first set up Gini how to use it. Just a brief look at my open box system. You right click on the uh, desktop. You get a menu that opens. Or you can go down here. This is the XFCE4 panel that I added as opposed to the Tint 2. Which has a great multitude of programs on this particular computer. Now... While this is one of my laptops, it is identical to the operating system that I use on the Raspberry Pi. I've used this on setup on Raspberry Pi 1, 2, and 3. If you have any Debian-based system, you can certainly set this up. But nonetheless, that's not our main point. Let's go down here to Gini. Here we have a C program, just as an example here on Gini. Let me show you a few things you will need to do to set up Gini when you first get it. Go over here to Edit. Go down to Preferences. Let's go over here, General. Pretty much boots up the way you want it to do, but you need to go to Editor. First thing you want to click is Line Wrapping. The rest of it is pretty well set up for you, minus a terminal program. I'll show you that in a moment. Go over here to Display. Now, you see a line here and a checkbox, Invert Syntax Highlighting Colors. You see how the program looks over here. If you want to invert it to check the box, hit Apply. And you want to see it as a black background and the rest of it showing like this. That's what you need to do. One other thing we need to look at. Under Tools. You will see here, under Tools, X-Terminal, Emulator, and this line here. That's how it comes stock pretty much out of the box when you get Gini and you just uh, you get Gini into your system by sudo apt get install Gini dash plugins and it takes care of the rest of it for you. All right, that's fine. It depends on what your default terminal emulator is. We will see right now. This is a C program, and to use Wiring Pi, which, get, which is a C program that you can program in real C, but you have Arduino-type commands like digital write, digital read, delay, and so forth that you can embed in a real C program to operate the GPIO. If you're going to really do some serious programming, you need to go with Gini, which is why I'm showing you this. Here's your layout for your standard C program. I'll bring that down a bit. You want to include whatever libraries you need. You have to start it. There is no setup. If you're used to using Arduino, there is no setup. Setup won't work with this. All right, you see, uh, you start with integer main. You always start with main, and you have to return an integer. Here's your opening bracket. There's your closing bracket, and you always have a return zero or some other code, but generally it's return zero. The rest of your program you insert from here. You can declare your characters and so so forth in here. They can also be declared on the outs outside like this, and it'll still work. 
Note when you declare this outside, that variable can be seen both in here in the main function and all the subroutines and other functions. If this is declared within main, you won't see it within the subroutines. But nonetheless, doing this is really simple. You got three buttons up here to worry with. You got compile. Okay, if you look down here, compiled successfully. Then you want to build. Okay, let's go back to compile. If you look at this line here, this is what you would type into a terminal if you're doing it manually. Hit build. You get the, uh, this is what you would be forced to type into a terminal manually. It's doing it for you. And it was successful. Now all you need to do is execute. It automatically opens up a terminal for you. In this case, I have to just simply enter a character, hit enter, and it just says your choice is Y or whatever character I would have had. It says program exit it with code zero. That would have been the return zero down here. That means it worked. If it came out with some other kind of code, something went wrong generally. Um, all you have to do, and by the way, this is the LX terminal window. I always use LX terminal for the simple fact that if I wanted to see what the output, I can cut and paste on LX terminal. All I have to do is hit enter and it goes away. And to give you an example, I could have taken the output just to keep a copy of it and pasted it over there and just like that you have a copy of your output that's why you want to use LX terminal or rocks terminal or some better terminal not a terminal or some of the other really dinky do-nothing versions and that's all you need to do to do a C program All right, so that completes this brief introduction to the Gini text editor. Thanks for listening. Now we're going to be looking at how to use the Arduino. Check out my website at www.bristolwatch.com.